Welcome back to PSC's Tech Byte. Today I want to talk with you about a fresh new capability introduced under preview in the SharePoint Framework version 1.4.1. It is the capability that allows you to consume the Microsoft Graph as well as any third-party APIs within SharePoint Framework client-side web parts or extensions. It uses Azure ID for uh, the authentication and authorization, especially using the uh, open authorization protocol provided by and supported by Azure ID. It can be used to create real business level solutions which can rely on external services in order to improve the functionalities and the capabilities of the SharePoint framework solution that you build. So let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to play with this new capability. So here we have a custom API built uh, using uh, ASP.NET MVC and as you can see we have an API controller which is subject to authorization and in which we have an action which is called business action. The business action will receive uh, a text to echo just for the sake of making an example and will uh, give back a response made of the text to echo, the date and time of the request and if there is a current principal, the identity name of the current principal in the username property of the response. This API is provided from a security and from an authorization perspective using the Windows Azure Active Directory Barrier Authentication, which is based on the audience of the app, which is the uh, unique URI of the application in Azure Active Directory. In fact, if I go to Azure Active Directory, you can see here we have in the Azure ID under the cover of my Office 365 tenant, I have an application called SharePoint.PMP.SampleRestAPI, which in the settings has a uh, property uh, of app ID URI, which is exactly the audience we have in the web config. Moreover, in the manifest file of this uh, Azure ID application, I have an open authorization to permission, which is called businessaction.invoke, and which will be the permission needed to call to invoke uh, this operation, uh, this REST API, in a secure way. That's why, from a SharePoint framework perspective, in the package, JSON, uh, package solution JSON file, I have a web API permission request, which is uh, targeting the SharePoint PMP sample REST API uh, um, application that I have in Azure AD and is requesting the scope of business action dot invoke, which is the one I configured in the manifest. Moreover, in the TSX file of my React component under the cover of the client side web part that I'm building and which will consume <coughs> the uh, REST API, I have a, a, the AAD HTTP client uh, object which is created. I have a new instance of this object targeting the unique URI of my application. And then I can simply make a request, an HTTP request, uh, which will be with the body content of typed application JSON. And in the body, there will be the text to echo that I want to send to my target API. Then I can just make a POST request targeting the URL of my REST API, which is hosted right now in this sample under Azure in an Azure App Service. And I can provide the request options, which will include the custom headers and the JSON body of the request. And I will get back a JSON response, which will be made of the username, the request date and the echo. So that from a, a user perspective and user perspective, if I go to the workbench, here I have my uh, client side web part, uh, I can provide a text uh, to echo for uh, demo purposes and I can invoke the API and as you can see I have the uh, ADALJS window to get the access token and I get back my uh, echo uh, text uh, as well as the current username so that you can see that the request uses a delegated token from an open authorization perspective and I get back the uh, date and time of my request. If I press F12 and if I go into the application folder I have the uh, token, oops not token but token of my uh, um, got, got from Azure ID and which is the open authorization token to consume my API uh, in a safe and secure way. So this is uh, really interesting and useful. And in order to make it fully functional uh, from a um, uh, app service perspective where I'm hosting the REST API, I have to configure in the core settings of the application that I want to make it possible to have cross-origin resource sharing for the SharePoint online tenant that will consume my API. Uh, 
uh, and last but not least, uh, from an admin perspective, from a SharePoint Online admin perspective, in the API management page of the new admin UI of SharePoint Online, I have to uh, uh, provide to consent uh, and approve the uh, permission to access the scope businessaction.invoke for my target API. So, Using this technique, you can create client-side web parties in SharePoint Framework, and you can consume third-party APIs, whether you build them using ASP.NET MVC or whatever else technology, or whether you are using third-party APIs built by someone else. But overall, you will be able to consume external REST API in a secure and safe way, leveraging the Azure AD and the Open Authorization protocol to authorize access to the uh, actions and to the resources you want to consume through REST. This is really powerful and makes it possible to create real business solutions with SharePoint Framework. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you next week.